Hi and welcome. In this video, we are looking at two use cases of the new Notion button. The first use case will be to generate default tasks for any of your projects. So for example, if one of your projects is to build a website and you know that that project has specific tasks that happen every time, regardless of what client you are doing that for, that's what the use case number one that we're looking at will solve. Although there are some limitations that I will explain further later once I implement it. The second use case that we are looking at today is to use a Notion button to generate an AI block that is using Notion AI as part of the design thinking toolkit. That's a template that I created some time ago that you can grab for free in the description of this video. And this button will generate ideas for your ideation phase in design thinking. So let's start with use case number one using a Notion button to generate default tasks. Here I am in the projects database as part of the freelancer home base. That's just a template that we are using for this use case demonstration. We have projects and we have tasks and for each project we want to have a button that creates new tasks by default. So let's get into the projects template here. And the first requirement is that there is a relation between the projects database and the tasks database. And that is how we actually can get this progress that is based on the tasks that you can see here. That is a relation property that pulls data from our tasks database. And that in fact, we can actually show as minimal. That puts it down here and out of the way, because if we have many tasks that can become cluttered in here. Now that's the section where we have tasks and let's add a new button here slash button. And through this button, let's assume we have three default tasks they want to create for every project. So we will add page two. The database is tasks here. Let's name this button and we can also give it an icon. So we'll add a page to tasks. The task name will be, let's assume this is the default task number one and it can be whatever. For example, in a website project, it could be gather client brand guidelines. Let's say an example of a default task. And you can also assign a priority if you like, let's say medium. Importantly, you want to relate the project dynamically to this page so that whenever you click that button, that task will be automatically related to the project where you have just clicked that button. And you can duplicate this step for all the default tasks that you have. And once you're done creating your button, you can click on done. In the last video where I explained the new feature that is Notion buttons, I mentioned that there was a limit of 10 actions. That means 10 steps that you can have here within a Notion button. Recently, this week, in fact, that limit was raised and the limit of actions in a Notion button right now is 100, not anymore 10. You will notice, however, that there is a limitation here in this use case. If you want to have default tasks, sometimes you might want to have content inside those tasks. That means when you create default task number one, you might want to have a sub checklist of items inside that page, for example, for collect brand guideline for client inside that task, you might want to have a sub checklist of get brand in PNG and SVG format and all these other stuff that you might want to remember to get from your client. However, using buttons, it is not possible yet to include content inside a button page. The only actions available are the ones that you see here. So we can only edit database properties, but not the content of a page yet. So if that is an important feature for you, you can still use the previous method of default tasks that involves creating a table in here and then doing a drag and drop every time you create a new project. And you can find a video demonstration of that in the description. For now, let's look at how the use case would function. So we click done and let's go back to projects. So now if I create a new project, I will have the template automatically applied. Here we have all the database properties that are not important for this explanation. So we're going to move past them. And in here, if I click this button, these three tasks are generated and they are automatically linked to this project that I've just created that we can also rename as test project. And you will see the project is test project. You have all those tasks automatically generated for you. And these tasks are also part of the master tasks database. And you can, you can find them here. Let's move on to the second use case of Notion buttons that is generating a Notion AI block to brainstorm ideas 
about the topic that you're looking at. So this is the design thinking toolkit. You can find the link to the video explanation in the description. The template is free. And one component of the design thinking process is ideation. So in ideation, it might be useful to use AI blocks to just brainstorm ideas. So if we look at the template ideation name, you will find here we have raw ideas and this is where you want to brainstorm ideas freely without judging them. And this is divergent thinking, starting from one or a few concepts and branching out with as many ideas as possible without judging them yet, because then there is the filtering process or convergent thinking later on happening in the process. And here we have this AI brainstorming block button, which I already added. So let's look at how it is configured. You can see that here we have an insert block step. That is the first option. And within this block, we have a slash custom AI block. And in here, we can already write brainstorm ideas about the title of this page. And we can do done. Let's create a new ideation session here. And let's say this is the topic of our ideation session. And let's click the button. And here we have the text already added. Brainstorm ideas about the title of this page. Or you can change this brainstorm ideas about. And you can also copy this and paste it and then generate. And here you have a bunch of ideas that could be starting points. Or you can use these as you like at your discretion. And you can use the button as many times as you like with different prompts or with the same prompt. That concludes two use cases of Notion buttons. The first use case to generate default tasks for any of your projects using templates. And the second use case, generating a custom Notion AI block to brainstorm ideas that you can input as part of a template in the ideation process or wherever you like to use that within your Notion workspace. That's it for now. If you have any questions or remarks, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. You can find all the references and links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon.